And the next is let's place some objects on this background. For this first screen, I prepared three objects. The one is this hut, and also this guard, and also this chest. Okay, then uh, let's make another method here public void. This time, uh, create object. Uh, first, so let's make jlabel and name this object label. Call new jlabel. And uh, set bound, so uh, choose the location. Uh, let's place the hut house around here. So x is 400 and y is 150. And the size is uh, 200 and 200, I think. So this is how it's gonna be 200, 200. Yeah. And then let's create image icon again. Object icon. New image. Copy this and paste here and change the file name here uh, to this one hot hot 200 200 PNG and set this on this uh, object label set icon object icon and uh, finally uh, add this object label to this BG panel, background panel. So BG panel one dot add object label. And uh, I think I haven't called this. Yeah, let's call this uh, create object method to Okay, let's check this. Hmm. Okay, so for some reason we are not seeing this hot house. Uh, there is a reason for that. So this is kind of a tricky part of Java or Swing. And the first object you add to a panel comes to the top. And the last object you add to the panel comes to the bottom. So in this case, First, we added this background label, so background picture to this panel. Then we added this object, house object to panel. So actually this label comes to the top and hiding this object. So we have to switch the order. So this adding order. So in this case, let's uh, move this line after this. So switch the order, then we can see the house, this one. And uh, okay, let's adjust the position, maybe a little bit to the right and a little bit to upward. For 20 and uh, 40. Oh, looks good. Maybe adjust a little bit, uh, for 40. I don't see the difference. Ah, okay, it's moving. <laughs> uh, okay, I think. Mm. So this is how you place an object on the background image. So if you want to place another object, then uh, you can repeat this process. Like uh, you can copy this and uh, paste this and uh, just change uh, like uh, object label to to and change image name but uh, that's uh, that's gonna be a lot of work because uh, maybe you're gonna create 50 objects or 100 objects maybe more so this is not an efficient way to do it and instead we're gonna use variable 
to set these parameters. Let me comment out here and uh, copy this. So we receive integer here and uh, the first is object x and the second is object y. The third is object width and object height. So we're gonna use these numbers. Okay. Also this file name, we're gonna get this file name to uh, string and object file name. here we're gonna arrange this one a little bit too and uh, for this one too we receive uh, some variables first integer bj bg background number and then a string bg file name and uh, we're gonna use this file name here background picture name and this number here, this array number. And these are okay as it is because the panel size and the panel placement doesn't change throughout the game. So, so now we need to send these variables to these methods. So let's do it from here. Uh, public void. I'm gonna name this method uh, generate screen. And uh, okay. So first uh, screen one. The first screen. And uh, first let's call create background. I think. So we need to send this number and the file name. So let's send them. So since this is the first screen, one, and then a file name. So background is a green, a green pg 700, 500, not, not 500, 350.png. Hmm, okay. And then Let's create object. Create object and the first object X. So uh, 440, 440 and uh, 140, 200, 200. Then file name. So uh, what was it? Hat. Uh, hat 200, 200 PNG. Okay, and uh, ah, also let's change this one too. So let's receive this background number here too. So object. So we can receive background number here. Okay, so let's. So it's a first screen, so let's uh, send one. And delete this and uh, okay finally so we're not gonna use actually we're not gonna use these two method but instead we're gonna call uh, generate screen hmm. uh, okay I think let's check it Okay, so the result is the same, but uh, I think this works better because, you know, if you want to add one more object to this screen, then uh, you can just uh, call this method again, create object, and uh, change these parameters. Yeah, let's uh, place this guard, change the file name, guard 150, 150. 
and also like uh, 70, 180, and the uh, size is uh, 150. 150. Let's check. Yeah, so guard is here. And uh, finally, let's add the chest too on the ground. So let's create another object. Uh, chest 70, 70. And change the location 350. And uh, this is 70, 70. Oh, oops. <laughs> and let's go down and a uh, little bit to the left. 280. 310. Hmm. Okay, I think. Uh, okay, so we have succeeded to place these objects. So let's interact these objects. So since this is a uh, point and click adventure games so if you press your in this case right mouse button on an object then a pop-up menu appears and you can select your action if it's a guard then uh, you can look at the guard or you can talk to the guard or you can attack the guard something like that so inside of this create object method we're gonna use a j pop up menu class name this pop menu equal new j pop up menu and uh, import and then and also we create a j menu item and uh, menu item uh, let's use array and the new j menu item if you want to set five actions on this pop menu, then uh, you need to type here a uh, five. But this uh, for this game, we only use uh, three actions on each object. So we we need to type three, but uh, I'm gonna type four here because uh, array starts from zero. Sometimes it's a bit confusing. So I'm just gonna use uh, array number one, two, three. So we are not going to use number zero, so yeah, we're going to use array one, two, and uh, array three. And uh, why I'm seeing error here? Oh, and uh, okay, and the first, let's make the first item so. Item one, call new J menu item. So we're gonna put an item name here, and uh, for this one too, uh, we're gonna use a string. So let's get another string here. Uh, choice one name or something and also uh, string choice two name choice three name okay and uh, so we're gonna use this here I think and uh, okay Let's add this menu item to pop menu. Okay, let's copy this and uh, two, three. So menu item two and menu item three. Also choice name two and the choice name three. So now uh, we want to send these three strings uh, from here. So we 
we're gonna send three strings. I'm gonna just type blank string for now to erase the error. Okay, uh, okay, let's set some action to this hot look and uh, talk and rest. Yeah, so this is create pop menu, create pop menu items, and uh, create. And now we want to display this pop menu uh, by pressing right mouse button. And to do that, we're gonna implement a mouse listener to this object label. So, object label at mouse listener and uh, instantiate mouse listener here. Let's import and, uh, and add unimplemented methods. Okay. And uh, inside of this mouse pressed method, a uh, first if statement swing utilities dot is right mouse button event is E. So if you pressed the right mouse button, then pop menu dot show. So let's show this pop menu. The first argument is invoker. And in this case, uh, object label. So the pop-up pop menu gets activated only when you press the right mouse button on this object label. And then we're gonna we're gonna input x coordinate and y coordinate for the pop-up menu. So here we're gonna get the current coordinates of your mouse cursor. So e dot dot get x and uh, e dot get y. Hmm. Okay. And I think this is okay, so let's check this. Okay, so let's press right mouse button on this hat. Okay, so we see this pop-up menu. But if you press your right mouse button around here, nothing happens, nothing happens. But here, you know, pop menu shows up. Yeah, and uh, this one too, but we haven't set any text. Okay, so yeah, let's do it now. So this is guard, uh, let's set action, look, and uh, talk, and attack. And uh, this uh, chest, uh, look, and uh, maybe talk, and uh, open. Now look talk open and uh, look talk attack. But now even if you select one of these actions, nothing happens. So let's take care of that next. 